Hello everybody, this is John with Napco Technical Support. In this video tech tip, I will be discussing how to uh, change your password for your iBridge security systems. Uh, so this video is going to go over if you have a new iSecure uh, system installed or if it's a Starlink Connect radio, uh, whether it's the Model C or the Model Z, and that uh, may be connected to a Napco, uh, Honeywell, or a DSC control panel. And also if the dealer installed a IBRZ remote, uh, which is our IP iBridge security system that would be connected only to NAPCO panels uh, via Ethernet or Wi-Fi. Uh, so again, there might be different products that the dealer installed. Uh, they all fall underneath the iBridge app and utilize the same technology. So again, this video, I'm going to just go over how the customer can just change their password uh, for their iBridge security systems, uh, dependent upon uh, which product the dealer installed. Uh, so if you see here, I have a, um, a browser open. Uh, for security purposes, the uh, end user can only change their password or update their user IDs via web browser. Uh, so they cannot do this through the app on their phone or on their tablets. They'll have to navigate uh, to the website to do this. Um, so again, for the, if it's a brand new iSecure system, uh, the website is iSecureByNapco.com. So if you, this would have to be provided to the customer. So again, the website is iSecureByNapco.com. You press enter, and this will take you to the landing page where they can log in. The dealer will provide the customer with the default username and password. Again, this is for iSecure systems only. Uh, if the dealer installed a Starlink Connect radio, uh, which can be connected again to our Napco panels, uh, Honeywell panel, or a DSC panel, uh, those customers uh, should be navigating to uh, the website, which is ibridge.napconoc2.com. Uh, that's the website they would go to uh, to administer their account. Again, this is the landing page for the Stalling Connect radios. And if the dealer installed an IBRZ remote uh, iBridge security system, uh, the customer would go to ibridgeonline.com. Uh, so again, dependent upon the product that the dealer installed, will fall underneath and use the same iBridge app and brand. Uh, they, these are the different websites that those customers would have to navigate to. Um, so just to simply go over and what they could expect when they log in as the customer. So on each one of these, I'll log in. Press submit. Okay, and as you see for an iSecure system, you can click here, change password. So you would type in the existing, you know, one, two, three, four password, and you would type in a new password and just press save at the bottom. And again, the user ID would remain the same, which is normally the radio number. Uh, just to quickly note that if you go into user management, uh, the customer can add um, a secondary user ID like I did here um, and make that user ID a master user. And then what they'd have to do is log in as that new master user, and then they'll be able to delete uh, the radio number. So again, if they want to get rid of the user ID of the radio number and you want to create something unique to them, uh, again, they can create the new user here, a new user, and they can create the user ID designated as a master. And then you just got to make sure that log in with the new user ID so that you'll be able to, to actually delete the, uh, the older user ID. Um, you could also make an app only uh, user, which will uh, is only administered by the master user. So if you have other people that are going to be logging into the system, the iSecure system, you could do that as well. And that's something you could play with. Uh, so again, this is only for iSecure systems only. As you see this uh, screen here for user management. Um, if it's a Starlink Connect radio now, which is the Model C or the Model Z, um, again, that website's ibridge.napconoc2.com. And here, I'll log in to this account. Again, just to change the password, and if you want to keep the same user ID, just click here, change password. Very similar concept to the iSecure site, just a little bit different. And you put the old password, the new password, and hit submit. And again, that will keep the same user ID that the uh, that was given to you by default. Um, if you wanted to change that user ID as the customer, Again, you click user management, go into account, and once again, you would do an add user. 
and you will put in all this pertinent information here and you do need to designate yes for each one of these options here and you'll fill out the new user the name your email obviously your password and you would hit submit that'll save that user id and once again you'd have to log in with the new master user id so that you'll now be able to delete the old one here so it's a very important step make sure that the customers are doing that and pretty much the uh if they're using an ibrz remote now the ip ibridge security system which is ibridgeonline.com again these sites are, are basically identical you know they just uh, allow you to log into the different product that was installed i'll just quickly just show you again same thing change password here user management uh, if you wanted to add the user ID, you know, the main thing is to know the differences between the sites, you know, so again, iSecure systems would go to uh, iSecure by napco.com. Um, if it's installing Connect, it's iBridge.napco.com. And if it's a Z remote, it's iBridgeOnline.com. And just one thing to note is that when you do change your password uh, for any of these systems, if you're obviously on the app, the iBridge app, uh, there is a startup wizard if you click on the settings that you'd also have to update the password there so that you know obviously when you log in through your app you'll log right in and also if you're using any of our touchscreen tablets right, on the systems on the hybrid system so you'd have to also click on the gear and there's also a startup wizard there where you can go through to re-enter your new password you know and your user id in case you've changed it so that everything syncs up again you know because this might have been installed um you know by the dealer and they left and now you know the customer could be logging in now changing things um so again this is something that you know you could administer on the back end or again the customer obviously has full control over this to uh access you know and change their passwords and to update their user ids but just just want to make sure you understand that you do have to update them in some in some other places whether it's the ibridge app or if it's our touchscreen uh tablets there Okay, so again, that concludes our video on how to change your password and or update your user IDs for your iBridge security systems, for your iSecure or Stalling Connect and IBRZ remote systems. I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. Have a great day.